Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit. Today we will talk about the time cut and time sheet. So this is the post project we are talking last few days, uh, the portal enhancement which is created from the idea. So uh, now today we will talk about that a uh, time cut and time sheet. So we will talk that why the time cut is important and how the time sheet is integrated with the time cut. So if you see in the preferences, we discuss about that. Here we have a options called update actual effort from the time cut. It means that if I go to the uh, um, dates here, we have a actual effort field here. This actual effort field will be calculated based on the time cut. So if, how many time cut we have expanded or how many time sheet the people will fill based on that this actual effort will be actual effort will be updated so without wasting time let's get started So very first thing is that uh, this is my project and the project, the time card manager uh, who have that access to the time cards, they will create uh, the time card for particular member. So let's take example that this project which is managing by this user, right? So, so the, for this user, uh, we need to create some um, time card for that user. So let me duplicate this tab here. And what I'll do here, I'll come back here in the bottom and I'll create a time cut for that user. Okay, so for example, this is the one project and the user I'll select, this is the project, I'll select the project number as a task. And the user is this one and set that user. And then I'll create a time card for that user. So now you can see this time card state is in planning state. So for each and every user who will actually work in this project, we should have create time card for that. The time card is not only can be created in the project, even in the project task also time card can be created. So I'll open one more uh, here, the time card, I mean project task. So maybe this is the one of the project tasks, which is right now, uh, I mean, this project task is maybe assigned to myself. I have not put my assigned to for the time being. Here also we can create the time cut, okay? So you can directly go and create the time cut into the project task or else uh, you can create, I mean, inside the project or else you can create the time cut inside the project task, okay? So we have, let's remember that we have created one time cut for this user, okay? Now, if I go back to the project right now, I'm not going to create the time cut in, in, in bottom of this project task. I'll tell you that. So basically, time, if you remember the time sheet, um, let's talk an talk example of the time sheet. So in the time sheet, what else we have? We have two options. Very first thing that assigned task, another is the unassigned task. So sometimes um, your manager or the or the project uh, member they don't assign any task. You yourself find the task and assign yourself. That is the unassigned task. Otherwise, another option is that the uh, the manager or the resource manager they assign a task and you just fill the time on that so both the way it can be work let's take example this is the one time cut that is that is for the user is this one they have created okay i'll change this name to my name to for example okay i'll put my name here Okay, my beat is not coming. I'll create directly here. And for one of these project, maybe I'll copy here and paste here. And save that. Okay. So remember that uh, two things happens. One, there is no resource plan for me because the resource, why the resource plan is not assigned? Because in this project, I don't have, I mean, whatever resource plan is attached to this here, in this project, whatever resource plan attached to this, I am not group part of any of this member. I am not part of any of these groups, okay? For this resource plan, these are the groups for the resource plan. 
I am not part of any of this group. That's why for my time card, uh, for my time card resource plan is blank. For this user, the resource plan is pre-populated from 1013 because this user is the part of this program groups. That's why it is pre-populated. So that's the one more information. So let's the the, way, the things I am talking about that. So uh, here we we have created a time card for the user myself. Uh, for this project task, I mean this project and the same project, I have created another another time card or another task for this user. Okay, but let's take example a simple example. This project in this project, I also work and I also work for this project task. But my manager did not assign any uh, any time card for me for this project task. Okay, how the project task work? So I'll go to the timesheet first. Okay, so there is a one more uh, uh, call um, thing called timesheet portal. I'll go here timesheet portal. Once I go to the timesheet portal, based on the available or based on that uh, um, right now, based on the assigned task, you can see what task is assigned to me. Okay, so this is the one time card which is assigned called project this one. Okay, I'll copy and search here. So this is the portal enhancement uh, which is available uh, you can see this is the project which is assigned here and I can still fill the timesheet for that okay what I'll do I'll here put the timesheet called nine hours maybe I work for the nine hours okay so once I put the timesheet the project and project task time is keep on changing okay so I'll so here you can see right now project task is 42 hours I'll put one more uh, one nine hours and it should keep on increasing the time is keep on increasing okay and now if i go back to the time sheet that is actually assigned you can see this time is getting changes okay total for this time card i have worked 18 hours and right now you can see this state is right now pending so what happens when um, for me this is my time sheet and these are the all the tasks i have worked so if you see here in last video, I worked uh, on this one to-do task. This is the one. I want to add into timesheet. I can add here and then I can keep uh, putting that effort here. Okay. I'm keeping, I'm keep putting my effort and after that, what I'll do, I'll, I can submit here. Okay. I can select and I can submit here or else if the task is if the task is not uh, i mean if you're not able to find that task which is i mean sometime um we have a meeting for that also we go uh, it goes to our time right so we can keep adding all those also here and i can add those those things here also okay so this is my time sheet and what i can do from there um i also can add the unassigned task okay so yes uh, I also can add some task which is not assigned. Maybe uh, the last time I talked to you that the time card can be assigned by time card manager. Let's say, let's take an example for this project task or for this project task, someone don't assign anything for me. Okay, if I go back to the time sheet portal and if I search here, I cannot find anything for me because nobody assigned me this, this task. I can keep also put the assigned task for me here. Okay, I can put that task number and then I can Keep put the effort on that on behalf of that okay so here I can put the time I, I put the nine hours so this is the unassigned task okay once you put everything you can click the submit okay once you so you can see the maximum 24 hours the first day we spend more than 24 hours so we have to be changed somewhere Now you can see our total is that this this is the Thursday uh, 23 hours, Wednesday 23 hours, Monday 18 hours. Now I can submit this timesheet. Once I submit this timesheet, the timesheet had uh, three timesheets submitted 
let go back to here you can see this time sheet is right now is in submitted state if i refresh here the time sheet is submitted and then it's generate the approval so who have i mean now go back to this project you can see this is our project and this project right now for example have maximum two time sheet one is for the story another is for that um, let's see So this, this, uh, for this one, the four timesheet is there and all are in submitted state. What we can go do, I'll open maybe the person, they will open that uh, time card and they will approve. So timesheet approver have the option or ability to approve the timesheet. Once they will approve or reject it based on their understanding. Okay. So uh, whoever is the actual user, they are submitting their timesheet and once they have filled it will go for the timesheet approver okay for each task or maybe you can say for each different different task it can generate uh, the time, time card okay now actual effort is zero if i uh, this time for this uh, task it have the nine hours so if we approve that it will actually it will up update the actual effort so i just approve this one this time card i have approved as a time card manager and you can see the actual report is updated so i'll add that task here so you can see that for this task uh, this one zero this project task uh, the actual user submitted the nine hours and then it is processed so it is processed and that's the reason that the actual effort also updated once your time card or your time sheet is approved you can see there will be one uh, uh, you can say the expense, uh, expense line will be generated this is 45 hours i mean 45 dollar uh, which is be uh, which is in pending state so expense line will be generated let's keep um, let's submit few more here for this one uh, the people have submitted the I have submitted nine hours once I have approved this on two so pro if I go back the actual effort should be 18 hours you can say the actual effort is 18 hours because this nine and this nine is processed if I save here so two are processed and expense lines if I you can see two expense lines is generated and it is in pending state so nine hours into uh, nine hours 18 hours 18 into 50 is the um, 900 i mean uh, this is the 900 dollar is expense uh, we have right now we can see so this is the expense line so this is the expense line uh, which is right now in pending state i'll open that expense line and then maybe process that okay once we process that the expense line you can see um, it will definitely affect our uh, actual cost right now actual cost is 450 so this is the one expense line which is processed uh, if i keep refreshing so this is the one expense line which is processed I'll open another one which is in pending and I'll change the status to process and save that. Once I save this process, uh, you can see that actual cost is also updated here and then this is the um, uh, state will be processed and actual cost will be updated. So that's why time card uh, actually using the time card, two things happens. One is the expense lines generated, actual effort will be updated and actual cost will be updated. That's it for today. Uh, I, I hope you guys like my video. Uh, if you like my video, please like, share and uh, click on the uh, share button. And if you also want to get more update on um, these types of video, hit on the uh, notification button. Thank you very much. Have a great day.